Hey folks, I know some of you have heard about uh, this thing happening in Rolling Oaks and most of you probably can't figure out what on earth is going on. I'm going to show you. So here we are. We're approaching my neighborhood, Rolling Oaks. You all know this area. It's real famous. We have Lone Man right here. And then like 250 foot or so past it, we have our neighborhood. Both of which are very well known. Everybody knows at least a dozen people that live out here little tiny neighborhood that's us right there rolling up okay this is our roads check this out just happened to catch some cars right off the bat you have this rather blind hill and people almost meet here all the time <laughs> I mean not in a good way you know so it's about a mile up to where I live and up to where they're building the hugest bar you've ever seen deep deep into our neighborhood let me check this out isn't this just a cool little drive to go on to go to a great big bar out in the middle of nowhere that's certainly what we're all asking but about a week ago I found a note taped to my trash can by a good Samaritan who said, Rick, you're building a big bar across the street from you. And at first, I didn't believe it. We knew they'd been clear in the last little while, but we thought they are just putting in some big house or something, you know. Who'd ever thought a bar? Somehow, they've kept this secret for over a year. I mean, nobody has said, hey, people out there in Rolling Oaks are building a huge bar. You want to fight it or something? <clears throat> I mean... I just don't get that in a little town, drift to a tiny little community. We're spread out, but you know, everybody shops at the same store. You see everybody all the time. There are no real strangers out here. So, and I, when I say out here, I mean in Rolling Oaks, in Driftwood, in Wimberley. There's just not really too many strangers. Here we're coming up to my hill another blind spot that just really sort of leaves you wide open until right about now and then you start seeing uh, the skyline and right now you see anybody coming over that hill that's my road right there lonesome okay so here we are we are arriving at the new Wentees wine and beer garden or beer and wine garden Let's just look at this. Well, here we are. Goes from all the way over there to all the way over there. And it goes back so far that you really probably can't see it on this. It goes back, acres back there to that gate. Now back there, I'm gonna take you in just a second. But here's what we have. We have a great big drive, and I can't go on it because they hate me because I don't like them. But neither does anyone else out here. There where that's all spread out according to their plans, that's where they're going to have their splash pad, I guess, with lights going up into our night skies and water fountains like you see in those movies about Las Vegas and, and you know, stuff like that. And they're going to put that right there. None of us know where they're going to put the water, though. <laughs> Law says they can't reuse that water. I don't know where. I guess they're just going to drain it on us. I don't know. But but they'll go down that hill down there, I guess. But whatever. They're building this huge bar right here in my neighborhood. Right here in my neighborhood. I'm going to show you how close in just a second. And um, we've talked to them. And to put it all into a nice little ball they say we're coming and we don't care if you like us or not <laughs> that's just been their attitude i've spoken to them this isn't hearsay i've spoken to them and, and and they don't care they just don't care it seems they got money out of california some in, oh, almost stepped on there could have went could have went to jail right then anyway this is what they're building in my neighborhood went bar they call it a beard wine garden and this entire neighborhood of people is coming unglued at the seams. We have an attorney, 
and we're fighting it with every single thing that we have. We want to stop them. We want them to go away. We're not happy, and we're not going to take this without without a huge fight, which we're in right now. But like I said, I know you've heard me, and so, at the, you know, this is it. Let me take you around where I live and show you the really sad part. Of, I mean, this is all sad, but the really horribly, how can you make it worse thing? That's what I got next. Okay, so we're leaving Winties. Bye-bye, Winties. All you drunk patrons. So glad you're here. We're just so tickled. The entire neighborhood wants to just tell you how much we appreciate it. Now we're turning down my road. I would never show you my road. I love my anonymity, but I got to. Steve lives here on the corner. Really nice private guy. That's gonna be wonderful for him, right? Now we're going right past my place and we're gonna come around this corner. This is what we call Dead Man's Corner. You can't see from me the direction what's coming and it's a double corner. And I'll be doggone if right here, right here, they don't have what they describe. This is the back of that. See up there, see where it's at? Okay. Now, where my car setting right there, this is blind man corner here, dead man's corner, whatever, just is really a bad corner. They're gonna bring people out of here at night. At least my understanding from what they've said. They're gonna come, they're gonna head out this way, and they're gonna crash around that first or second corner right there. And, <laughs> and it's just gonna happen. It's gonna be very lively. My house is just past that. They call this little strip right here a new road. They make it very vague, but they say, don't worry about it, folks. We put a new road in. The strip meaning where my car is setting. We put a new road in. We're going to safely take everybody out the back and down the road. I mean, you know, they hadn't said this personally to me, but on our Facebook post, that the only communications that they've done with us, it's, it, that's what it's been. And they're, they're going to bring people out of this right here, this mess right here, and they're going to plop them onto the little street and take them up to Dead Man's Corner and let them try to sort it out for themselves. That's what they're going to do. That's the ticket. Yes, sir. If I wasn't bringing you... The, and by the way, some of you know I do spoofs sometimes. Been, know, been known to. But then those, pe those of you who came to me and when I was on top of the pyramids in Guatemala when... The, the end of the world was supposed to come and I felt it necessary to bring that event to you, that wasn't a spoof. And this isn't either. This is just the sad truth. Hey, that's it. It's not a spoof. It's the sad truth. Folks, we're fighting this.